Hello, I'm Dr. Bach. Today, I'm going to talk about the accuracy of implant-supported full muscle rehabilitation. To make a passive fit of full muscle restoration is not always so easy because it's multifactorial. Scanning, selection of scan body, bite, manufacturing process have multi parameter. In this lecture, except manufacturing, consideration, I will focus about the scan aspect and CAD library too. This is today's content. Digital dentistry starts from digital data, actually it is scan, to make a florist restoration. Impression without distortion is most important, but how can he to get them? Let me give you some clinical tips. The first one is low data validation. It's about left scan and intraoral scan and CBCD scan. Could you know how much dislocation in abortment implant interface can be a problem? In this paper said the many article does not indicate a specific number of range of acceptable level of misfit. But we can predict the result of the misfit. Within the tolerable range, there is no clinical complications. But too large misfit can create internal stress and cause mechanical and biological complications. To the contrary, this article suggests acceptable abutment misfit is near 100 micron, or uh, is usually 50 to 150 micron is acceptable. We can select a proper strategy according to the expected accuracy level. Direct screw joint type restoration needs a high level accuracy. But on the other hand, cement layer can save a little discrepancy and breaking internal stress. There are two important points in taking impressions. Tolerance priority order. The first priority in inter-implant orientation. It usually means direction, translation, and rotation. Minimizing misfit and internal stress is key factor. And we can capture jaw relationship. This is so-called bite. If a proper taking bite fails, please try provisional restoration and correct them. In full mouse cases, cross mounting and cross denture wash impression are so useful. Uh, sorry, uh, complete denture wash impression are so useful. This is an interesting research. It tells the accuracy of impression using verification G and two types of coping impression, open and closed types. Uh, this resin comes from three different company. Surprisingly, three different material verification G techniques produce much more errors than closed tray impression. In this situation, we can recognize some kind of polymerization shrinkage exists. This force can distort inter-implant orientation. Some of technicians or clinicians use the reverse scan technique. It uses lab analog type scan body, but in this experiment, uh, it shows us to pay attention in reverse scan because uh, internal stress can, be, uh, can exist in it. I prefer closed tray impression rather than open tray technique. It's more easy and accurate, but most, almost every impression is produced by digital. My hygienist just told me that she should keep the job because no lesson about conventional silicone impression. She's gone. And Lab scanner is most accurate. It is considered as a reference scanner to inspect the other thing. Uh, to evaluate lab scanner precision, it is so important. To evaluate them, uh, multiple scan is needed. You can draw regression line using Keynote or Excel after taking uh, many impression data. Maybe it can be three or five times or more, but that's very uh, time-consuming process. Maybe you are able to predict 
area based deviation. This is very proportional to area. In lab scanner, usually in accuracy of a model scan is mostly caused by tooth mobility. Teeth are able to move to 25 to 100 micron actually and 56 to uh, 100 micron laterally. Next one is intraoral scanner. Intraoral scanner is most commonly used item, but it's very technique sensitive one. It can be easily affected by saliva, cheek, mobile tongue, and eventualous area. And the uh, translucency difference of gingiver and teeth is a very important factor. I suggest four crucial tips for proper intraoral scanning. Slow, specific, sufficient, and stable. Fortunately, all initials are S for S. This image comes from a different scanner, but I just feel intraoral scan is the most technically sensitive one. Uh, we can use uh, 4S strategy for scanning to improve the accuracy of the scans. This is stories about conventional and digital impression. There are so many articles for uh, this subject, conventional versus digital impression. Digital impression shows a better result, but some articles say the opposite truth. I would say about this model used in study. This one looks so good, but this one has difficult area intraoral scanning. I just call this is not specific, especially on the palatal region is so smooth and scanning program cannot recognize easily. Here's a very new study from Italy 2020. It says about impression template helping easy accurate intraoral scan. The result shows impression technique significantly improved the trueness and precision of the complete eventualist arches. I just named a specific morphology as a degree of complexity. It is so-called DOC. Six implants is more complex, but long span is this advantage of accurate scanning. Using dentition-like template can add the complexity of scan and it can help easy scan and please look at the guide pin uh, buckle side. You can add a geometry to smooth palette for adding complexity. Look at the low light one. I just added the flow of resin for complexity and easy scan. Sometimes narirap scan can create some earthquake like this. In full arch scan, you can should take consider both data amount and sufficient data. Nowadays, the intraoral scanner can generate uh, much more data than used before, so you can take consider of that. If you want to inspect your scan is correct, there is one problem. Professional software is too difficult to use, you may feel. I suggest this this kind of simplified intuitive model. This is just a mounted model in an articulator. Before scanning, you can make uh, some context point. After scanning them, you can easily find contact loss or distortion. If it fails, please try calibration or call technical service. Here's a um, dynamic contact validation using virtual articulator. In fully eventualist cases, to check guided by design in virtual articulator is very important. After removing pretty much contacts, it looks better movement. To eventualist patient, CBCT scan is very important because we can make surgical guide from two CBCT scans. One is uh, from patient scan, uh, exactly it is uh, patient with denture and denture itself scan. All CBCT is not always accurate. To inspect them, 
we should translate DICOM files to STL files. After that, we can compare to STL files. For example, this is uh, this CBCT files from a company. CBCT A shows a uh, accurate result and its own calibration phantom, and uh, it can automatically calibrate itself. But the other one shows less accurate results. But recently, almost every CBCT make a better one. It's an error considered under 500 micron. Please check your CBCT before making a surgical guide plan. And surgical guide is very, I think this process is very important. The other accuracy comes from patient stability. Uh, it is very hard to stay freezing uh, during CBCT taking. Patient motion can generate artifacts like image. There are so many movements of patient. Slow drift, keep tremble, slow tremble, and sudden move, and multiple sudden move. These all summation results, low light, low light image, just like low light image, true patient. In various move, sudden move is the worst one. This one, this image is just looks like an artifact. Sudden move is the worst. So please be careful in taking CBCT. Please look at patient carefully. And before taking CBCT, you just tell to the patient, don't move. We need radiographic marker for full arch patient and metal artifacts. Full edentulous patient surgical guide need a two CBCT scan. We should locate the resin, so-called the radiographic marker to denture. This is case from maybe three years ago. I just made a tooth-shaped marker in broad area. I use Luxa Tempo is very good for this kind of process. When you have metal artifacts in your CBCT, please add the radiographic marker before taking CBCT scan and intraoral scan. It is very helpful to accurate alignment. Marker material can affect the result. I tested various resin, floral resin or pack of resin and natural, natural tooth. I just inspect them after taking CBCT. There is a deviation in, from alignment error because uh, a little beam hardening is generated from radio opaque materials. After taking some test just like this, you can select the proper one. In my experience, Luxa Temp is very good marker for broad area and uh, narrow area. Uh, you can use the, some flavor resin for marker. The last one is digital data registration. To make a good restoration, the accordance between library and actual scan body is very important. This is a very interesting example. These scan posts are from two companies. Scan posts are nearly the same. It looks really the same, but titanium base link is a little different. It has a different vertical dimensions. To make a proper restoration and exact restoration in CAD, Actual component should be properly transferred into digital space. But uh, sometimes it does not match, so we just feel after making restoration, we just feel this prosthetic is not good. Look at this image. Uh, sometimes uh, we in CAD manufacturing, we have uh, trouble to align the actual actual scan and digital library. In this image, the alignment is very poor, so I just cut the library just like this. Uh, the alignment is better than before. This is end of lecture. To make a 
better and accurate restoration, validate your data first. Thank you for listening.